Hi students, in this module we shall be discussing about Perkins timetable. It's a very common scenario where the patient walks into the OPD chamber or the emergency room and asks how much time will it take for a fracture to unite. Generally, the fracture union is a multifactorial issue. It is not based on a single factor, but still there is a mathematical formula where you can roughly calculate the time required for a fracture to unite and that can give you a rough estimation of time that can be conveyed to the patient. So the Perkin timetable starts with a spiral fracture of upper limb and here we are discussing about the clinical union that takes place as three weeks. So three weeks for upper limb fracture, spiral in nature and we are talking about the clinical union. This is happening at three weeks. You have to multiply these three weeks with multiplication factor of 2 in subsequent scenarios. If you are having a fracture of lower limb, you have to multiply it by 2. Also, if you are talking about the radiological union or consolidation, and also you have to multiply it by 2 if you are talking about a transverse fracture. So, ideally, a upper limb fracture, spiral in nature, for union should take three weeks, but the same fracture in a lower limb is three into two, six weeks. If we are dealing with a transverse fracture of a lower limb, that we are talking about the consolidation, then it becomes three, which is the basic time, divided by two for lower limb, that is six weeks, into two for a transverse fracture, six into two is 12 weeks, and 12 into 2, 24 for consolidation. That becomes 24 weeks or indirectly it is 6 months. So here you can have a rough indicator depending on the various permutations and combinations that you can have out of these. A spiral fracture of upper limb, a lower limb fracture, a transverse fracture or a consolidation or union of a fracture.